let's go through our before I forget uh, minute meeting uh, meeting minutes of April twelfth. Uh, Lee and Herb, how are you? I'm okay with them. How are you guys? I'm fine. Yeah, I'll, I'm fine. Thank you. So, so, Colleen, all three of us approve those. Uh, okay. The two, two septic system designs for tonight's meeting. Uh, first is Neil Jackson at Seven Phillips Circle. It's a three bedroom house, a repair a complete system. The review is completed. This is a grassy level lot in the front and drops down to, to wetlands further in the back. There's sand fill on top of hard paint fill. It was sitting at 65 inches right on top of that, that till, that hard pan. The issues here is the, the moderately high water table. There actually is a, a pretty limited area if, in the event that it, you want to place additional fill to lift the system up. Uh, and you've got the wetland restrictions in the, the rear and also the, the water table sitting on top of the the till prevented them from perking in that most restricted layer. The design is for a 1500 gallon two compartment tank, does have an outlet filter, a pump, pump chamber with the alarms. It's got two Elgin uh, trenches with 10 Elgin B43 units in each one. It's got 441 gallons a day capacity versus 440 needed. Uh, it's vented. Uh, it doesn't need fill. It doesn't need ballast on either vessel. Looking for a three-foot water table separation, which they're asking for, but, but the Elgin design allows it anyways. There is no reserve area. Uh, they're going to remove the existing septic tank, and they request did a soil analysis because they couldn't perk and in lieu of the perk. And I have a mistake that says a request for a five foot to four foot water table separation is five foot to three foot water table separation. And the SAS separation to the wells and the wetlands greater than a hundred feet. My suggestion on this one is to a Approve the variance for the soil analysis in lieu of the perp. The variance for the five feet to three foot, which as I said, is not required with Bob Sheehan as the board's rep. And then to approve the application subject to submission of a revised drawing showing an additional tie to the SAS and also notes that aren't on the drawing for the pump alarm circuitry and pump alarm location that Neil in fact was supposed to do that today. Also that a deed notice must be filed because of the Elgin system prior to the issuing of the COC, an electrical permit and a trench permit. What are your thoughts, Lee and Herb? That's quite a laundry list, um, Dick. <laughs> Noted. Now, I'm, I looked over the plans, um, and you certainly covered everything that I could even imagine on this on this particular system. I believe every base has been covered on this thing. This one, just as a point of reference, uh, we pulled the guys license that was doing all the, the grading out there. This particular parcel had sand on the west side and terrible till on the, the east side. And the guy came and stripped it all out and messed a, a lot up. And and uh, that's why there's a little less fill than there should have been there. So are we okay? Are we going to prove it subject to those? Uh, I'm I'm good with it. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. The next one is Bob Sheehan on 32 New Ludlow Road. 
Uh, that's this is way down near the landfill, but opposite. So on the on the south side of New Ludlow Road, it's a three bedroom house. It's a repair, a complete system. The review is complete. This is a small, grassy, narrow lot, deep sands with a 25 inch water table and public water. The issue are the high water table and the narrow lot. And this one also, the water table was so high that they could not pour water into, into the sand. So they, they ended up doing a soil analysis. The design is for a 1500 gallon two compartment tank. This one, because of the high water table is a, a single cast tank with a top seam. Uh, it's got an output filter, pump chamber, pumped an alarm. This has got two 48 foot. These are our 12 infiltrator trenches. It's also 441 gallons design versus 440 required. It's got vents. This one is filled. This one's ballast on both, both the septic tank and the pump chamber. Uh, Bob's asking for a four foot water table separation, no reserve area. It's going to remove the existing septic tank. There's a request for a soil analysis in lieu of the perk, request for a five foot to four foot water table separation. But also because of the high water table, Bob is requesting a reduction in the 12 inch requirement from the the inlet and outlet of the tank to the water table, which I felt was not a problem because that water table is so stable out there. And the, the single compartment, uh, the, the single cast bottom part of the tank with the top tank. The SAS separation to the wetlands are greater than 100 feet and it's public water. I'm suggesting that we approve the variance for the soil analysis in lieu of perk, the variance for the five to four foot water separation, table separation with Neil Jackson as our rep, and the variance of the 12 inch water uh, table separation to the septic tank outlet. And that we approve the application subject to the submission of a revised drawing showing additional ties from the rear lot to the SAS and to the septic tank restrictions, an electrical permit, and a trench permit. Urban Lee, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I would uh, I would support um, going forward with this. Uh, my thought, Dick, is 440 gallons required, 441 gallons uh, anticipated. Uh, the standard deviation on those numbers has got to be so significant yeah. that I don't believe those numbers. They're, both of them come from a chart. I, I understand. Uh, and so I'm just telling you, I don't believe that those numbers are really a true reflection of anything except somebody uh, smoking something. Yeah, for sure there's no difference between 441 and 440. There surely is not. And I don't believe necessarily either one of them. Yeah, and when you go out there with a, a backhoe with a bucket in the sand, you're not getting what this design says anyways. Uh, I believe that. So I'm just making a comment that uh, this stuff is is not as exact as people might want it to be. Okay. Are you okay with the design? Yes. Okay. Lee is too, and I am too, Colleen. So that uh, okay. when when Bob and and Neil come in, I've had one. Uh, issue uh, on the well permit application for 79 West Street. And 
they the question that's that's uh that's a, a, across from the old carrot patch and my my two issues with it and uh, are first that they call out that the for again no particular reason that the the SAS distance to the new well is going to be 95 feet and and I have no idea why they wouldn't there's plenty of extra space why they wouldn't have put more than 100 feet to bring it into code and the other thing is that drawing does not show the septic tank so I have no idea how close we're allowing this well to be to the septic tank so my recommendation is that we not approve that that permit Yeah, that's, I'm, not that's sure. a I'm not sure I even saw the stuff you're talking about. Yeah, it was on, I think it's Harrop's. And uh, if I can find it on my, on my notes, it's number, number nine as I tried to sort through this stuff. Uh, As I knew I would get in trouble here with mixing things up. Yeah, it's a it's 79 West Street, Ron Harrop, and Connecticut Valley Artesian Well. And when you get to the uh, Last page, I think. Yeah, it shows a picture of or a sketch of West Street, and it says the the septic to the the new proposed well is ninety five plus feet. It's got a couple ties to the the back corners of the house, and it does not show the septic tank at all. What does 95 plus feet mean? Well, if it means 110, it's okay. I, I understand. That's what I'm saying. 95 plus could be 100 or 500. Yeah. But what I don't understand is why they wouldn't have said 100 foot plus and not go through all of this. So that is, as we start going through things, uh, I guess I'll hang in until uh, Bob shows up, I guess. And uh, so the next one I have. Is Bob, go Bob is here, Dick. Bob, we have approved yours uh, subject to, we, we, Pass the variance for the soil analysis in lieu of the perk. The uh, five foot to four foot water separation variance. The variance of the 12 inch water separation, the tank in the outlet. Uh, approved the application subject to submitting a revised drawing showing the ties from the rear lot to the SAS and the location of the septic tank. Fill requirements that has that has permit. been submitted. Okay, in trench permit. Other than that, we're all set. Very good. I thank you, gentlemen. Have a good evening. Okay, you, you too. Thank, thank I've you. Got, I've got two timesheets for Colleen. One is the ending the April twenty third, and for seventy hours, and the other. Uh, May 7th for 70 hours. Are we okay with both of those? Yes. yes. I am too, Colleen, so that's approved unanimously. Okay. Payments to the, the treasurer is a total of $4,150, $1,150 for Board of Health permits, $1,930 for Board of Health license, etc. 
uh, 850 for Board of Health fees, 220 for gas permits, totaling the 4150. Are we okay with that? Yes. Yeah, that's about as high as uh, I remember a transfer being. You know, it's high. It is high. Mm -hmm. The next one, uh, I, I press the button and I don't know. Did I shut everybody off? No. 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 Okay. I guess it's, it's me. And uh, let me see if I can get myself back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it looks like a purchase. Oh, this is bills payable. Total of $29.90 uh, to Rico Copier or Toner. Are we okay with that? Yes. Yes. And I am too, Colleen. Okay. Next one, a purchasing request for $107.88. And it is all to quill for tab dividers, three-wing binders, electronics, duster, hanging file boxes, desk document holder, printable business cards for a total of 107.88. Are we okay with that? Yes. Yes. I am too kind. Okay. The next one is Certificate of Compliance, 96 E Street, Cornerstone Realty. Um, Lee, are we okay with this one? Yes, that's all fine. I'm okay with that. Herb? Yep. Hey, oh, so we're all set. Other okay. Certificate of Compliance, uh, this is uh, 220. West State, this is Brooks Family. Uh, this is the old real estate building. Lee, are we set with this? Yes, we are, yes. Well, I'm okay with that. Herb, how about you? It's fine. Me too, okay, I said that. Next one, application for uh, disposal. Construction permit looks replaced you place a deep box only at 56 Ferry Hill Road by Bob Sheehan. Are we okay with that? Yes. So I'm okay with that. Herb? Uh, yes. Now he was asking for the certificate of compliance too on that because they already done that one in the next one. So, Lee, are we okay? You've inspected that? I have. So are you, I'm okay with that, the COC, Herb, are you? Why not? Okay. So this looks like a same thing, replacement of the D-Box, Bob Sheehan at... I forgot the address. <laughs> 205 Bachelor, I think it Yeah, was. 205 Bachelor Street. And this one, Lee, so is, is this okay in terms of this is what's needed and it's not... Yeah, that was Mrs. Iman's residence on Bachelor. It's all all in and all all good. So the permit then is approved, and and the, the COC is approved. Is that is that correct from Lee and and Herb? Yes, I'm okay, and I am too, Colleen. Okay. The next one is is. Uh, is that Harrop Weld? And I don't know what we want to do. Do we? Do we want to just send it back to them and say it has to be more than a hundred feet, and we want to know where where the septic tank is? I think that's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Yeah, I, I agree. Okay, so that's that's that one. Uh, okay. Let's let's see. It is 
It is seven fifteen, so we still we're still on the on the first clock. Uh, here's a a well construction permit for one forty five School Street. Um, well, this one is the geothermal one. It looks like it looks like the the geothermal well is is almost a hundred feet from the drinking water well, which I'm I think the the code is fifty feet, but this is a sealed well where they just put it down and then they put the pipe in the heat transfer pipe and then fill the whole well back up again so nothing's ever ever taken out of it and supposedly the no liquid can ever be put into the ground are we okay with okay. that term i am okay with i believe that should be fine yeah herb how about with you all right sounds like there's not a lot of mischief there, so yeah. Okay, so I am. So that's the three of us are for that. The next okay. one that I have, five different permits, four or five. This is for the CR Corner Store. We've got a retail food store uh, permit, uh, milk and cream. Um. Frozen desserts. Operate a food service establishment. I guess that's it. Four, huh, Colleen? Yes, no tobacco. Okay. Are we okay? And is this that we would grant this subject to Lynn inspecting it? Yes, yeah, she needs to go. Yeah, she needs to inspect. Urbanly. Colleen, did you say there was no tobacco at this location? It says it on the on my sheet that Yes, he would like it, but I never received he paid, but I haven't received uh the application for it. Uh I think he's hung up on the, the state. The state hasn't approved it, so oh, okay. I don't have all the paperwork yet. Okay. Herb, how are you with this one? Long as Lynn sees it. Okay. I'm the same, so the three of us agree subject of Lynn's inspection. Okay. The next one is the Women of the Church of Christ for May 10th. No, that's not. That's not what it is. It's May, May 28th. May 28th. Are we okay with that? Why not? I believe. Yes. I'm okay too. Before we get into into the the food trucks, what I'd like to do, and then you guys can can care if if Neil ends up here, but uh, soon it's gonna be Gary Toff's time. But I I'm concerned that the that the confusion that we're running into with, with food trucks is in my mind there are two very different kinds of of operations one is a totally self-contained operation that can drive up any place in town has its own electricity its water its toilets and really and truly can sit someplace and then there's another one that is what we're seeing here where it's they're little operations typically, and they require support from the location they're in. And, and my thought was that we issue two different permits. One is that the, the little guy or like the, the charter thing, you issue a permit for the vehicle at a spot. And then maybe since Lynn would have to go in and inspect the new spot that you say, okay, let's let's give them a, a hundred dollar permit for that vehicle and first spot. 
And then every time you go to another spot, it costs you another $50 versus, say, $200 for the fully contained unit that basically has got the whole town available to them anytime they want. What are, Herb and Lee, what are your thoughts? Well, my only thought going backwards, um, pardon me, Herb. Um, in the old days, there was a constant battle over a water source for these smaller operations that they were running garden hoses back and forth to a spigot at the pavilion. Um, and I don't know that that's still the case anymore, uh, but that was years back, that was some of the concern that we had with these smaller operations compared to the commercial guys. Because the water was never tested. It was just, you know, they just grabbed the spigot and just used it. Um, but maybe that's already been addressed. I don't know if they do water quality at the pavilion, and I don't know enough to know whether or not the, the applicants um, They'll do that type of connection. Uh, Herb, what are you thinking? What's your thinking? My thinking is I didn't know enough about these food trucks to really make a cogent comment about them because it just wasn't clear what we were being asked. And it wasn't clear what they had on board. And it wasn't clear that they weren't asking for multiple permits for multiple trucks uh, without them all being examined by Lynn, which I think every single one of them needs to be reviewed. So my, my problem was I just didn't understand these food trucks and what was included and what they needed from someone else. Well, okay, that's a good point. And, and running with that point, Herb, should we yeah. run on Lynn's expertise going forward about what they need or don't need and what she would deem allowable or not allowable for event? I, I would, uh, Lee, yes. Uh, that's, uh, that's her charge for us. So exactly. if she reviews the truck and says this truck passes, that's fine. And if she says it doesn't and because of whatever, that's fine. But yes, I think Lynn ought to be on uh, the docket to decide. From a permit standpoint, it would seem to me that where we've been asked, see if this person was allowed to operate at Dufresne's, is it okay for that person just to pull in and back of the high school without anybody looking at it? And that permit's good, again, any place for the whole year. I don't think that's a smart thing. I think my thing thought is this should be, at least for right now, if you're not fully self-contained, this is actually an event permit. Absolutely. Mm, yeah. I totally yeah. agree. Yep, yeah. absolutely. So, Colleen, when we write the permit, we should write it as an event permit. That way, okay. we, that way we ensure what Herb and Lee are talking about, that Lynn has to come in and, and inspect. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. that's what the three of us voted on. Neil, I'm, we've, yes. dis we've discussed yours. Okay. Um, we've approved the variance for the soil analysis in lieu of the perk. We've approved the variance from five feet to three foot on the water table to the, the water table separation. 
We've approved the application subject to submitting a revised drawing showing the additional tie to the SAS and the additions for the pump and alarm circuitry and the, the alarm location inside the house. The requirement of the deed notice being filed prior to the issuing of the COC, an electrical permit, and the trench permit. Okay, and I did make those minor changes to the plan. So the the plan at in the office is, has been updated. Okay, so we're all set with you. Great, great. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Okay, you too. All right, Neil. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 It is. Bye. It is. It is now seven thirty, and it looks like looks like Gary is up as I misplaced my my agenda. But I am I am going to take my leave. And uh, Lee and Herb that you can carry on. Okay, we'll do it. Thank, Thank you. you. And have a good night and Herb, I am sorry this is our last meeting. Well uh, Dick, it's been a privilege uh, serving on the board. Uh, I've learned a lot, and I have a great deal of respect for you and for Lee and for Colleen and for the entire operation. I think what the Board of Health is doing in Granby, all but gratis to the town, is absolutely yeah. extraordinary See the microphone down at the bottom so whatever is I can going here one guy i can hear him i'm going to see if i'm going to see if i can shut him off oh what do i have to do you have to mute yourself how do i do that <laughs> i hope he's not one of our participants cuz if i mute him and he's and we i leave he's muted if you if you just I see you as Chris, I, yeah. I'm going to be leaving. I don't I don't want to shut you off and put you on mute because you won't get back after I after I leave. So if you can just not talk until your turn, we can let you sit there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'll... Thank you, Mister Bombardier. Okay. So so. With that, again, Herb, as I said, you bought you brought something that was really, really needed at this at this last three year period. And, and unfortunately, my guess is most of the town doesn't know what you contributed to their to their health. And all I can hope is that our work may have actually saved somebody's lives. Well, I hope so, Dick. Uh, and, and I think uh, the board's been an integral part of trying to preserve the health and welfare and uh, of all of our town residents. And I think we have made any number of attempts to do that, uh, whether it be via COVID or the PVPC or uh, our association with Northampton in our shared services are just these uh, every two week meetings, which I don't really think people uh, understand the degree of technicality of so much that goes on in the Board of Health. At any rate, uh, it's been a privilege. I uh, I hope uh, everyone is healthy and uh, continues on, and we are certainly going to continue on in Granby as active participants in our town. So, uh, thanks, Dick. I appreciate the the nice words. Okay. Have a good night. I'm Thank I'm going to. I'm going to shut my machine. 
I'll just shut my sound off. I'm afraid if I'm not careful, I'll shut everybody off. So if, if I shut yeah, the yeah. sound off, I'll just let this run for the rest of the night. So good night, everybody. Okay. And thank you. Thank you, okay. Mr. Bomber, dear. Thank you. Okay. All right, folks. Really? Uh, new territory here. <clears throat> so is Gary with us at this point in time, Colin? Yeah. Do we know? Yes. yes. All right. Can you hear me? Arab and Mike. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Colleen. You are Hi. I'm not your doctor. But All right. So, Gary, uh, can you bring us up to speed stay. as to what Our is happening at 81 <laughs> Pleasant Street? It's been a long time coming, trust me. So, yeah. six weeks ago, we had a the hen we get out of here. well drilling, and we removed the old uh, pump in the bottom of the artesian well. So, there was an artesian well installed. No, no one knows. Uh, it's 103 feet deep. We put the, the, the pump down 80 feet. We've been pumping for the past three, four weeks sporadically when I get over there to pump it out and just run the water. Just keep running it, filling up, running it, running it, running it. To clear it out, it's been you know, 10, 15 years since it's really been used. Oh, I'm afraid. Yeah, running it. So we, we got uh, a Is that what call? the analytic in Belchtown. Uh, one test, the bacteria test did come back negative today. We're waiting for all the other stuff to be you know looked at and evaluated, and they'll give us a report. So we're still waiting on that. Um, when, do you expect, when do you expect to receive that, uh, Gary? I would think by Friday we should have all that paperwork. Once I pay that, pay them to do it, they'll give me the, the paperwork, and I can email it to you guys or submit it to hand deliver it, however you want me to do it. To, uh, whatever comes back, hopefully it comes back okay. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> don't know how it's going to come back. So that's where we're at. So I thought it was a good thing that the, it's pumping. It's good. I should never have eaten all those nuts. Uh, it's only 103 feet deep, but as you know, I've only got it for a shot. So, uh, you guys can tell me. I, was, I don't know what, what to expect, but uh, it's about three gallons a minute. It's pumping out now. Uh, and that's all I got for news. Did we get all that? All right. So, uh, Gary, now last meeting or two there was some discussion of where the old septic was in relationship to the well has that been disclosed at this point in time no okay. i haven't looked into that lee thinking that if the existing well we can use well, no, maybe better answer no don't wasn't wasn't sure i had to evaluate where the old septic was if we used existing well, okay. I wasn't sure. Right, so the well we the well we have now is being worked on by. Um, I'm coming up. I'm sorry, I'm not available right now. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's the existing well that was there. Yes. Well, maybe you better answer it. it. Answer it. it. Getting a water test, which is coming back negative, and we're going to get a copy of that going yes, forward. Yes, yes. Correct, yes. Answer it. Okay, so hopefully by next meeting we have... Uh, I, uh, don't know to look. I thought it was maybe Zoom, but it's not. Okay. Um, Colleen, maybe it was Zoom. That uh, other party. Yeah, I know. I know we got to tell Dick to shut off his sound, but um, I'm trying to do that, Colleen. I'm calling him for the third time. Oh, yeah, you're calling for the sound here, so I can't call him. So I'm like, oh, okay, 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 okay. Chris, yeah. uh, you got to shut off Dick's sound. It's blasting through into okay. the. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The mention and it was it was good for everybody, I think. But anyway, I hope I'm not enough. <laughs> that's because that's because I curse a lot. 
Well, Colonel, you're not the only one. You didn't see that there in Yeah, I got to hang up now. Okay, bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got uh, Dick closing off his audio. All right, well, thank you for that, Herb. All right, so Gary, we're just gonna go forward, get the water report back, and then I believe we're off and running on your project. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm not mistaken. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. So once I get um, the back on Friday or this week, how do I get it to you guys? Do I just email it to you guys, the report, or should I deliver it? Um, I guess you could email it right to Colleen's office, I would think. Okay. Um, yep. And then we can, you know, go over it, act upon the data. We have to, I believe, we have to do it during regular meeting. Okay. Um, I don't believe that's going to hold up what you're doing. It, that's not our intention, of course. Right. Um, but as far as I know, once we have that data and it's coming back clean, then you're off and running in whatever direction you want to go. Correct. Thank you. If it's not clean, um, they're, they're telling me there's remedies to certain lead, lead or magnesium if it's over. I'm not sure. There's explaining it to me, the Henshaw guys. I don't know. You know so he says, as long as the bacteria is clean, which it came back negative today, the other stuff, there's remedies that can be done, I guess, to to uh, satisfy all of us, I guess. Or something like that. Yeah, historically, historically, you're right about that, Gary. There are various uh, filters and or lights and or right. chemicals that they can set up a system to purify the water. Um, okay. you know, within, within the course limitations, but usually it's an attainable goal if it's close, but not quite perfect. I was hoping to get the stuff through today, you know, last week, but didn't, didn't happen. I didn't get the test over until Friday and this is where we're at. So. Right. I get it. I get it. I appreciate it. And I know it's been a long time coming, so hopefully it goes quicker now. Yeah. Well, I think uh, most of the work is already behind us now. Okay. Okay. Appreciate your I'm time. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Thank you. Yes, sir. You Take care. Thank, thank you, Colleen. Take care. Okay. You all. Take care. Okay. Um, I don't know what time it is. Is is Mr. Cox um in the queue, Colleen? Yeah. Do you know? Yes, I am. Okay. Good. So um, we appear to have uh small issue as I understand it and okay. the property located at 151 Taylor Street I believe that you're installing uh, an SAS for that new homeowner correct yes uh, yeah uh, okay so um, I've been informed and you can help me out here I've been informed by your engineer that there was no Subgrade inspection or elevations done by the on behalf of the town of Granby through your engineering company that you hired, and therefore what we have in the ground is an unknown. Oh, and I, um, go ahead. If I, yeah, so we started to get the install going, but then foul weather came. We covered what we had, but we have we don't have a system in the ground, so there's no elevations to be shot yet. We have the subgrade elevation to be shot. Not been done. It's still wide open. I went by there two days ago just because that's the way I went to Springfield, and there appeared to be um, X amount of dirt. In, in the area where the SES is supposed to be. So okay. I could be yeah. mistaken, I didn't stop there. Yeah, um, I've, I've, tried, I've tried reaching out to the engineer. 
he was hired by the homeowner. Um, yeah. And we're trying, we're trying to communicate with him, but any inspection that's required will be, will be done. Like, but again, it, it became winter time and we stopped. I'm, I was actually working on, I'm not feeling good about the elevations. And that's where we were at. We were trying to figure out where everything was in because they seem to be wanting to be higher than the, like, it's not laying in there the way I feel comfortable. It's supposed to be trenches and it's ending up to be more like a bed, but no fill in the center. So I'm trying to get the engineer out there to figure out what in fact is, is going on because the, uh, the elevations feel like to me, like they're off, but I stopped because um, fall weather came and I just, obviously pushed it off until now and then we were trying to get going again i was going to get him out there for a walkthrough on it to figure out you know what in fact is the the problem i put a lot of systems in and this one just doesn't appear to want to sit in the way it was designed okay well just so you know what little yep. i know is that whatever is on the ground yep. needs to be needs to be out and gone yeah, that's and we fine. Need, we need to be right back from day one. Um, measurements, elevations, subgrade, whatever. Yep. Because it, it, looks, it looks like that portion of this thing somehow got skipped. Okay. And that being said, we need to start from square one. So if Mr. Uh, is it Mr. Jackson who is the engineer? Yes. Yeah, well... Uh, he's, uh, he designed it. Yeah. I don't okay. So he's a guy that needs to be with you and possibly either with, uh, Mr. Bombardier or myself. Um, we should maybe all get together at the same time to really determine what's going on and whatever that takes is what we need to do. There's no, no leeway here. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, if you could reach out to Mr. Jackson and then yep. let everyone know how to proceed or what we're going to do forward. Let's okay. get it done and fix it and correct it for the sake of the homeowner. Absolutely. And uh, get this thing behind us. Sounds like a plan. Um. Well, it really Do does sound like a plan when you say that you don't have confidence. That's how I'm hearing it. Confidence in the engineer and uh, what the engineer has said. So uh, I would say I wouldn't say that I don't have confidence in the engineer. I don't have I don't like the way the system's laying out, but it could it could be a couple different things. There was a belly in the ground there. I don't know if, if it was missed during shooting the elevations or whatnot. I'm not, not paying blame on anybody. I just been putting septics in for 30 years and this one didn't feel like it was going to lay in there properly. So we did, we did put some, uh, some sand in there and see where we were going to be at just for elevation purposes before we did anything. And um, that's where we stopped. It was, like I said, it was the middle of winter. Um, snow came and we just, you know, obviously stop because we were going to contaminate the ground and everything. If you try working in mud or snow or whatever, so it was just at that point we just stopped. I don't, I don't want to blame, blame blame though. I don't want to, I don't want to say that his, you know, it could be a, a combination of different things. So I'm not going to say that. I don't All right, have that, confidence. That, that, I've put, that's I've fine. Put in systems I'll, I'll take that back, but I. I don't think you wind, want to wind up in court adjudicating this. So I think Lee's comment that uh, Jackson, you, uh, Lee, and Dick Bombardier need to get together and sort this out. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, that, that I understand. I just, I just didn't want it like being put on the engineer or anything else. I just wanted a meeting with him to figure it out and because the numbers weren't I wasn't feeling good about that or and or the breakout on the backside by the stone wall there was just a couple of things that weren't weren't fitting to my comfort level and that's why I said okay well 
the weather's turning foul. We're just going to come back to this. All right. Well, I think you ought to come back to it. That sounds okay. like the plan. All right. That sounds like a plan to me, too. All right. So at this point in time, um, there is not to overstate the obvious. Um, and thank you for those comments, Herb. There is no work to be done on that site whatsoever until there's a full meeting between you, the board, and the engineer. Okay. So as long as we're all on the same page. Sounds good to me. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Herb. We now have Mr. Campbell, I think, Lee. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Mr. Campbell, I don't even have you on the agenda. So uh, is this the water? Uh, yes, it was on the copy. Water testing. Yeah, it oh, pertains yeah. to uh, to the, the uh, custody, the, the chain of custody, getting the water sample from the well to the lab. And... Uh, the <clears throat> Quabbin lab does not do that anymore because uh, Dave is in the hospital with a cancer problem. Uh, Howard Labs doesn't do it. Uh, Tyan Bond doesn't do it. And uh, I, I just try, you know, I've been doing this for over 40 years. And the lab and get it done. So he can start. Okay, so let me, okay, I got you. So that being said, um, in other towns, is it, is it commonplace for someone in your position to do that function? Yes, and I've been doing it in Granby for years. Uh, all the houses okay. that all the houses that uh, uh, Katowitz is building over on School Street, Trigby Street. I've done all those okay. houses for them. Okay. I think what happened, uh, well, it doesn't really matter, but we had a water quality test a short while ago, um, which ended up with a, uh, uh, I believe there was a chlorine level in it, which didn't come out of the ground. Yeah, probably not. As well. Right. And that's how we got to where we are now. Right. Uh, but also, you know, you, you, we can take a test too quickly and have residual chlorine in the water as well. And then we have to redo the test. Right. This, this other uh, scenario appeared to be um, something from another source other than the well on that location. But I can't say that for sure. I wasn't there. Uh, I, but, I understand. Oh, yeah. You know. Going forward, um, we're going to have to amend a little bit our way of thought in this process because in different people in different areas, we have had Quab and Analytical come and get it. Right. But if no one's doing it anymore, then we have to put it in the capable hands of someone like yourself. I would appreciate that. Okay. Herb, um, anything uh, I'm missing on this? Uh, I don't know, Lee. Uh, the issue of uh, the chain is still, um, I guess, what we're trying to come to grips with. Uh, and uh, I, I don't know how to do it if uh, the testing facility doesn't come out, take the water, take it back and tested, I don't know how you make an assurance that the water uh, came from where it was uh, said to come from. Uh, and that's, well, not, uh, that's not disparaging you in any way. I'm just trying to understand how you maintain the chain if you don't have a chain. <laughs> uh, well, right. the, the thing is, for a bacteria test, 
the water has to get to the lab as quickly as possible. So uh, we don't have a whole lot of time. We can't really take it home. We do the test, we fill the bottle, and we take it right to the lab, especially in Granby. But there, there are also mail-in labs. I don't know if you've had to deal with those. You can, you can mail a water sample in and get a complete laboratory report. But how good is it? Because it probably takes more than 24 hours for the bacteria to be done. And that's a definite requirement uh, in all these localities. Right. Right. Okay. Gotcha. So the town of Granby is going to be into a... Um, looks like we're going to be get our hand forced into changing this out going forward. So the best way to do it would be to be, um, from what I'm hearing, Herb's point is valid, of course, uh, but someone in your capacity is going to have to be charged with um, drilling and getting the sample, getting it to the lab on a timely basis. And um, the results will be what the results will be. Right. And, and, but there have been many times where I've taken a sample over to Quabbin Labs and it's failed because of the bacteria. And that's the first thing they do is they call me. And then I have to go back, chlorinate the well and wait a couple more days, run the well and take another sample. And, and that's all part of the, uh, the process of getting a good sample. You, if you have to do it two, three or four times, you have to do it. Okay, I got you. Okay, so and I can understand. I can understand somebody getting tired of it and going out and buying a, a bottle of water and dumping it in a in a container and taking it to the lab. I can understand that. It's just not the way to do it. And that, and I have no other answer other than it's not the way to be done. Right. Right. We're trying but, to protect. Go ahead, please. We're the board of health and trying to protect a new homeowner. Absolutely. That's our only issue here, not to try and make it difficult to get water samples to the lab. Uh, the fact that the lab is not helping us out by coming to transport the water sample um, I guess we could hire someone else uh, but that that also seems crazy to me uh, i i don't know lee what well all i can say is i have a reputation i've been in the business since 1972 and i try to do the right thing oh no no uh, i'm and i i I, I, We're not disparaging I, I, you. Well, I, I understand that. I, I'm just saying that that's no. how I work. Yeah. You know, I, right. I, I know how other people not. work too. And it's the same. You know, oh, where, I guess where, we're going to have. Yeah, go ahead. We're just trying to, as Herb pointed out correctly, we're trying to protect the homeowner from themselves. And some homeowners who have a difficult well, as you mm -hmm. pointed out, We'll stop at uh, uh, Union Mart, grab a bottle of Poland Springs, throw it into their bottle and take it to the Belchtown or wherever lab, and it's going to come back with flying colors, and then they're going to end up potentially drinking bad water and, you know, God forbid somebody gets sick from it. Right, but uh, usually, so usually it's the homeowner in conjunction with whoever might be taking the lab, the water sample. And, you know, I take the water sample to the lab and report back to the homeowner. If he's got problems, we've got to fix them. And, uh, you know, it, it, they can be fixed. As you were saying earlier, there's plenty of, plenty of uh, material out there to purify the water. Right, right. And, and nobody okay. wants to buy it if they don't have to. Well, but, no. And you can't, you can't live in a house. I, I've seen people do it, but you can't really live in a house that's high in iron 
high in manganese, high in hardness, uh, and bacteria. You, you just can't live there. Yep. Okay. All right. So, Lee, oh. uh, w what would you think, Lee, about um, you take the water sample and you give it to a Lyft or an Uber driver and have them take it to uh, the lab? Uh, I would have a problem with that for multiple reasons. Okay. Because uh, you could throw the Uber driver an extra 20 bucks and, and I'm not <laughs> saying they're all that way, but you know where I'm going with this thing. Yeah. They could uh, delay getting to the lab. Uh, there's no, there's no educational process to allow them to do the right thing at the right time. Um, so it has to be somebody familiar in the well water business to do this and other hands should not be involved, which in my way of thinking includes the homeowner. So a sealed tube, um, I, I'm just a blue sky in here, a sealed tube, uh, taken by uh, one company and given to another company to deliver to the lab. Yes, something along that line could be done. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, there's, I'm sure there are various packaging um, in some version of uh, a tamper resistant once it's in that bag or in that box then you can't get in there without the seal or tape or whatever it is obviously being snapped. Correct. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But I would think the process of coming up with something like that could probably take at least a month, if not longer. And I don't have a problem with it. It's just that, you know, uh, I'm working right now. And if we do it by committee, it could take six months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I won't say anything. <laughs> <I'm> right. <laughs> uh, so I think for the time being, Herb, not knowing any better, I believe that... Um, the arrangement that's being done by this particular company is as good as we're going to get for now. Um, and if all the other companies really are not doing anything like this at all, and we are going to be uh, at the beck and call of the well companies to act as our visible agent here. Well, Lee, I, I wouldn't be adverse to making a decision here about this particular um, water sample, but not have it have any precedence whatsoever for subsequent water samples that the board ought to come up with a better plan for maintaining uh, maintaining the uh, uniqueness of that water sample and assure that it uh, is the water sample that was taken. I, I think that the board has to do that. No, I, I agree. That's, it's an incredibly important function for the water sample to be done correctly. And I don't believe it's going to be a very difficult task to come up with a system or packaging which will um, be easy to assemble and difficult to disassemble outside of the lab without it being very obvious. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, we, so, could, we, so, could, we could do like the federal government does and put a, a dye bag in with the money and when it opens, it explodes and everything turns uh, red or blue. That's fair. Uh, that's <laughs> too political, red and blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Way too political. No, gotcha. we can't do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so at this moment in time, if you can proceed um, as discussed, and uh, it's up to the board to come up with something um, going forward. Well, Colleen, if you could bring that up at the next meeting, perhaps. Okay. As a discussion piece, um, you can prepare for the future one way at a time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. So I think what we're saying, Mr. Campbell, is you've got to get that sample to the, the lab and uh, assure that it is a true sample and not tampered with and Nobody's fooled around with it, and there's no right. exploding dyes. There's no <laughs> and there's no anything. Okay, so well, maybe red and green might be better color. Better, better. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for the time. All right. All right. Appreciate well, it. Sorry, we couldn't be uh, more specific. But, uh, well, uh, it's pretty tough. Uh, we're going to have to redesign the whole chain yes. of possession type of thing. And I don't know if yeah. Granby's the one or if Springfield's the one or Boston. Yeah. You know? Well. Yeah. Somebody must be doing it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Let's push on and finish this, Lee. Yep. What's on the... Uh... What's on the loop, Colleen? Am I missing something? Okay, or so, the, um, the, the, the uh, mobile permits for charter days, but those are on the list. So the three for Dino's. And that's a separate okay. one for each one, right? A separate yeah. permit, not one permit for three trucks. No, they're all separate, right. The ones with multiples are all separate. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Lynn is going to run these all for us, correct? Lynn will be, yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. And that's, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Does that work for you, Herb? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, pool permit, Granby Heights. Uh, we have an agent hired for that, don't we, Colleen? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Actually, Granby Heights has a uh, property management that takes care of their pool, and then Lynn goes over to inspect. Okay. okay. So that's All right. Um, I'm good with that, if you're okay with that as well, Herb. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, and before you... So go ahead. you're both okay with... Um, all of the mobile food permits for charter days, bruisers, poppies, local burger, this SNKC and Finelli and Dino's, right? And that's assuming that Lynn is going to. She'll be uh, inspecting. You will visit each of those trucks, right? Yes. Okay. And, yeah. As long as Lynn um, gives it the evil eye and, and as much as Yep. Detail is needed, and that's fine. Absolutely. Okay. Full okay. permit. Right. And then um, you got the COC for 54 Taylor Street, and then he, uh, the owner also brought in the building inspection card that he wanted the septic to be signed off on. Now, that was the, this was for just a um, deep box, I believe. And maybe septic tank. I'm, I don't remember. It's not in front of me, but 54 Taylor Street. 54 Taylor. Um, 
who was present at that? This is, um, uh, Neil Jackson is the engineer. Okay. And this um, was a while ago. This was not like real recent. All right. Um, let me get my street list. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give it 54. Okay. So that property is a uh, Mr. Andrew Conus. Um, that. I think it's a touching. I don't think it's touching my property, but I could be in conflict of interest on this. Um, I don't know when Neil did this and whether or not Dick was involved. I I know that I wasn't. Oh, okay. Um, so, so why don't we defer this until next time? Yeah, we have to let this thing go until uh, Dick and Neil. Uh, figure this one out because I can't do it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, next is the next the title five inspections. Yes. Okay. So there's four here, 54 Ferry Hill Road, 50 North, 152 Pleasant, 56 Ferry Hill Road. These are all passes. Um, I was at all of these. I don't think there's any issues with anything. Um, is that all, all right with you, Herb? Yes, to receive all of these. Yes. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is the next normal item the discussion? There's a few yep. things here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing on this that I'm looking at what is 51 Forge Pond Road? Um, something about a demo and rebuild after a fire. Um, I don't have any information yeah, they were, on that. They were wondering about the septic system. Um, and it looks, it, it's old. And I think um, Dick had mentioned, um, you know, they'd have to have engineer go out and bring that up to code but uh they were wondering about how many bedrooms and whatnot so we since I, I did tell them it was only good for two the building inspector was um was asking so okay so at this point we're not going to do anything per se um the other town no. departments are, look, are looking into this Yes, and uh, I think they were advised to get, you know, to have an engineer go out. So we don't really that's need it down there. I believe, yeah. I believe that's the only reasonable way to go. I'm not sure if you have any other thoughts other than that, Herb. Uh, no, I thought this was way past what I could comment sensibly on. Um, I, I had no knowledge about this whatsoever. Okay, yeah. so we're good. Okay. Um, yeah. Next thing here is this mobile, mobile food permits. We just did that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked um, about that earlier with Dick and... Um, and uh, the next one I'm reading is the Music Parent Association event at Dufresne's. They were sure out... Yeah, they were asking about the food trucks and they wanted to know if these could be waived for the food trucks um, that would attend this. So she had a big long email that I sent around. Um, now, this is not some, coming up very soon, so this certainly can be discussed again, but... 
w what could be waived, Colleen? Uh, she was asking if we waive the, or if the Board of Health would waive their fees for the food trucks. No. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can waive fees for the food trucks if we have to inspect the food trucks. So if we have to inspect them, there ought to be a mm -hmm. fee. Mm -hmm. That would be my yeah. sense. No, I, I fully agree with that same train of thought. We can't be hiring Lynn or someone in her capacity to do a job and have the town of Granby absorb it. I, I don't see any, any way around that. Okay. But I mean, we can discuss it later on, but that's my, uh, I fully agree with Herb's comment. Ooh. Okay. Herbal virus coordinator. So I think right now it was Herb and then I was a backup. So I guess maybe we could um, wait maybe for the new board member and see, you know, who wants to do that. Okay. 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 Um, COVID issues. The Nothing in the issue is it's going to get worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. Yes. Yeah. Way yeah. worse than it should, especially given the time of year it is. We're, we're going to be in a bad way, I think, soon. Mm -hmm. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong. I know. Okay. Um, next item here, mail email, phone calls, and or other business? Um, I, I don't think there's any, I, I don't think I have anything else for tonight. Okay, okay. Herb, anything um, on your plate that uh, we should be looking at or discussing? Uh, I think uh, it's time to go and relax. So I would move okay. that we adjourn. All right. We shall adjourn. Herb, I do want to comment that um, um, I've enjoyed our relationship. Um, I admire your background and your input has been extremely valuable. And I hope you're not opposed going forward that uh, we do not reach out to you at some point in time uh, your background is such that um, you have a such a different perspective of what's happening compared to the rest of the board members that if you don't mind I think that uh, I personally and I think Dick would agree would like to use you as a resource um, as we go down the path here well, I appreciate that, Lee, and I am available. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. You bet. Anything I can do for you in the future, I'm a phone call away. I'm serious. Thank you so much, Lee. All right. Appreciate all your time, Herb. You've been very, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Colleen. Oh, thank you, Herb. Yes, yeah, don't be a stranger. Stop in and say hello. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay. All right. You take Good night. Care. Thank you, folks. Good night. All right. Good, Good night, everybody. All right. Good night, Lee. Thank you, Colin.